What's happening Hot Wheelers? Welcome back to the Motor Hood. It's Joe Motor with you again and uh, today we're looking at a couple of green light road racers. These came out in 2011, 2012, somewhere around in there and uh, found a couple of these online so I thought I would grab them while I could. You don't see them too much on the pegs anymore. I think uh, one of the last ones I found was in late 2013 at a Toys R Us I think but you know you may come across one or two of them here and there but I don't think they're making this series anymore and I'm not exactly sure how many series they came out with uh, but we're just going to look at a couple of them here. I do have a couple other loose ones from the Road Racer series but uh, these two just really um, grabbed my attention so I had to pick them up. So the first one we're going to look at here is the 1967 Ford Mustang with the number 33 on the side and as you can see it's from series one. It's got the big number one here in the back show you the back of the package here so you can look at the other cars in the set if you're interested if you want to pause that as you can see this was released in 2011 and then uh, this other one here is from series 2 as you can see the big 2 on the back this is the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 that is a bad looking car right there can't wait to crack that open and on the back here shows you the cars in Series 2. Uh, so I didn't look it up. I, I don't remember if they had a Series 3 or 4. But I'm pretty sure they're not making this series anymore. You can see the packaging has a slight color difference. Not that it matters that much, but a little bit different from the first and second series. But um, let's crack these open and take a closer look. Be right back. All right, we've cracked her open here, so we'll take a look at the 67 Ford Mustang first. Get her out of the package all the way here so you can see her up close. And just something about the simplicity and the white of these cars that really caught my attention. And uh, I'm not normally a Mustang guy, but the more I see some of these Mustangs that Greenlight has put out, the more I like them. And this one in particular, just because it has a very interesting um, Tampo design, and uh, you can, if you're an expert out there, you can help me as to the, the reasoning behind this sort of tampo design. It's very simple and minimal. And uh, it's probably from the Trans Am series, which was a vintage series, I think. Uh, but you can help me out if I'm mistaken on that. It's a little different from, say, this one, which looks like the more what you're used to seeing these days on typical uh, American stock cars with the big thick numbers on the side. But really, really interesting just how clean and simple that is. So let's get up close here. We can see the, the uh, tampos on the front of the car. Shelby Racing Company, Goodyear tires with these really nice yellow print on the tires. Wheels look amazing. See on the side here it says Lead Fabricators and has the names of those guys on the side. A couple of sponsor stickers or badges. And then you have drivers here, John McComb, Jerry Titus, Chuck Cantwell, Dave Dooley. Four drivers. And you have John McComb's name here on the top. And then you got the number 33 there, TA. And back here you got McComb Racing. And then let's take a look at the rear. Love these Mustang taillights with the three, three separation there. Really nice. Got dual exhaust coming out the back. And the 33 appears here on the trunk. And then on the other side, pretty much the same exact tampos. Really nice. Here's the interior, if you can see in there. Got some texture on the seats, gear shift, steering wheel. And then I've uh, got some windshield wipers. We've got a 33, kind of at a diagonal with hood pin marks here. And then we'll open up the hood. So you can see the motor inside's all black. Very nice, simple black and white design. Really like that. Especially the, the yellow print on the tires just really sticks out. And with, the, with this one, the, the green light tires really aren't as thick as they normally are, which is you know kind of a welcome change. Some of the green light uh, tires that come out, collectors kind of complain that they are too thick. They call them the steamroller tires. And, you know, Auto World kind of does too thin for my liking, even though they might be more true to scale. Uh, this thickness is just about right for me. So there's the base, 67 Ford Mustang, number 188. As you can see, it's numbered on the base here. 
It doesn't say what number it's limited to, but uh, they are limited edition. So that is a very nice piece there. It's all blacked out in the front there, mean looking. Very nice. So that is the 67 Ford Mustang. Let's take a look at the 69 Ford Mustang Boss, which is a little bit more muscle, I think. And here, like I said, the number on the side looks a little bit more like the American stock car, uh, Tampo style. And then you have the, uh, the 76 up here in the front, a couple of sponsor badges, STP. Tires on these, Firestone, fantastic. Love that number 83. Quality cars and campers, sponsor on the back here. The side marker, a little bit of a paint smudge down here on the bottom, which is not very characteristic of green light, but no big deal. And then the rear on this is just gorgeous, really beautiful. Tail lights with the flat black uh, paint. Got the Mustang horse there in the center, you can barely see it. Then you've got the number 83 and the Ford logo with the spoiler. And that uh, mean looking Mach 1 boss style, the mini blinds, some people call them there on the back. Dual exhaust coming out. And the same tampos here on the other side. I really love this, the, the tampos in the front, the orangey red that blends into this sort of um, orangey red uh, grill up here on the front. Just beautiful. And you've got the little tiny number 83 here on the front headlight. Really great detail. It's something they could have easily skipped over and said, you know, we're just not going to do that. It takes too much time and effort. Nobody will notice the difference. Well, discerning collectors notice those little details. And there's the hood. Got that flat black sort of accent on the hood. And then underneath, another all black motor on the inside. fantastic car. Now this one's got more of the what you would call the, the green light steamroller tires. I don't know that you know if it was one to one scale those tires would probably look ridiculous. So we look at the uh, we'll compare them just a second. Let me show you the base. Number 1631 there's your base. So if you look at the tire difference you can see the one on the the, uh, the 69 Mustang is uh, a lot thicker than the 67 so I don't know what the reasoning is for Greenlight doing these steamroller tires as kind of a standard because you would think that more rubber would mean more money. So you'd think they'd be able to split that tire in half and get more mileage out of the rubber that they use. But uh, they continue to use these steamroller tires, um, which are really cool on some castings, but some others I can see why they would bother collectors. But overall, man, these are just... These are really sharp looking cars. I love how they're both just kind of simple white designs and a really great example of a road racing Mustang. So I'll uh, take a pause here and do a little some close-ups of the cars and you can let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. But I just wanted to show you a couple of green lights here that I got recently and I hope you enjoyed looking at them. So uh, you guys take care. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.